Hey everyone, this is John Lee, and in this video, we're going to give the line art modifier in Blender 3.0 a more hand drawn look. So, first of all, we've just opened up Blender and we have our default cube here. I'm going to go into camera mode because you can't really see line art until you're in camera mode. So, I press zero on my numpad keyboard. And now I'm going to press Shift A to add a object line art. You have a couple of options here, but I'm just going to go with object line art. And right now it applied the line art modifier, which gives it these lines around the cube as if it's 2D art. So we're going to go over to the modifier here and scroll over to the style section of the line art modifier and bump up the thickness just so we can see the effect a little more clearly right now as you can see these lines are perfectly straight and they look a little bit too computerized I mean this is great if you want to do like blueprint modeling or you want perfectly accurate curves and straights in your art but if you want something that doesn't look mechanical, that looks a little more hand-drawn, we're going to apply two more modifiers. The first modifier that we're going to apply is the subdivide modifier. And what that does is it adds a bunch of vector points to our lines, which gives it more detail to work with when we start adding noise to our lines to make it look hand-drawn. But right now, the subdivision style is set to Catmull Clark. So choose simple and we'll have our regular cube again there. You don't really see much difference, but trust me, there are a bunch of new vector points now in between each of these lines that give us an opportunity to add the kind of detail that we're looking for. So the next modifier that we're going to add is the noise modifier. So we'll scroll down to the noise modifier all the way over here. And what we'll do is, let me just stretch this out a little bit so you can see the details I'm going to the noise scale option and I'm just gonna bump that up oh I'm sorry before I do that in the subdivision modifier bump up those subdivisions to the max all the way up to five over here now head over to your noise scale parameter in the noise modifier and bump that up and now you're gonna start seeing things happening here you can bump that up more and more depending on how much noise you want in the lines but I'm gonna maybe bump that down a little bit to around 0.2 you can also play around with the other options here noise offset seed or whatever but right away you get a uh, nice sort of not so perfect line and it looks kind of human let me see what happens if you play with the thickness you play with it. there's other options you can play with here but this gives it variable line width from point A to point B you can push down the noise scale so that you don't have as many bumps if you want so you get something like that and then just play with the parameters to get it to the style that you want so that's it thanks so much for watching the video and I will see you next time